Hello everyone and welcome back to Adventures in Skyrim. We are looking into the abyss. And what will it say? Come closer, bashed in my presence. Alright, and that is what it had to say. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Okay. What do you want from me? Your or of me? aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? Here's what I say. How about you take my sword up your abyss? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll never join you, vile demon. Be warned. Mm -hmm. Many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. Oh, I think I will. That's right. Run away. We don't need his help, right, guys? Sc scorn, man. How how is anybody supposed to take me seriously if you're just running around in in that, huh? That wretched abyss guy's probably laughing at us now. Thanks, Scorn. Thanks. Alright, let's go back to uh, Dawnguard. Fort Dawnguard, I guess you should, I should call it. And maybe we will put Scorn back in the outpost. He's, um, he obviously needs a rest. So let's make a quick stop there. Probably fight a dragon or two, because there always seems to be one hovering around my outpost. I mean, it's kind of annoying, but, you know, I'm used to it. All these dragons trying to prove who they are, you know, prove their worth against me, and they all fail. It just gets, it gets boring, you know? Ours is to smile at your passing. Now Turkethis is also nude. What is going on? I leave my outposts on, like, a quick side mission. There it is! I hear the dragon! He'll be here soon. Still here? Nope, he's here! There he is! Are there two? Oh, wait, no, that's a vampire. Oh, that's a vampire. <sighs> Try to ambush me, will ya? In my own outpost, too. You fool. <laughs> foolish, <laughs> foolish vampires. Alright, and we stuck her in the well. Hmm. There we go. I wish I could remember before I would start recording. I never do. Man, but do I know this game or do I know this game? I come back, there's a dragon. Am I right, Scarn? Now you want to put your clothes back on? Alright, I guess we will take you to Fort Dawnguard then. Um... You know, let's end this real quick. Let, let me summon my, my good friend, Dernavir. See it back up here? Oh, summon Dernavir, not Dernavir. You're welcome, Dernavir. Now, if you could please assist in crushing this dragon. Yep, there he goes. Alright. Alright, 
Apparently the dragon was so afraid of Dernavir that he ran away. That's pretty funny. Well, Dernavir, I guess you are free to just uh, fly, um, fly to your heart's content. I hope you enjoy your time here. I'll summon you again later. He's like, now hold on. I'm not ugly. <laughs> That's what I like to think this guy's saying. Amongst vampire circles, I'm considered very handsome. Hmm. Come on, game. Really? We we we've been in such an understanding for the past couple episodes. You have not crashed on me. I blame the vampire. I'll um, sit here for a little bit longer. It's so weird. Like I, I don't think it's ever gonna load. Like it's technically crashed, but the music still goes. I can still move the model around. Just sit here for 20 minutes doing this. Maybe talk about random shit. Yeah. Welcome to the Skyrim Podcast, where I just sit here looking at a model of a vampire and twirl them around in circles. Alright, uh, give me one moment, please. Let me close the game. Uh, you're probably going to be seeing a black screen. Oh, God. We've been doing so well. The past few episodes, it's been going so well. Alright, the game is loading back up. There we go. I hope we are at the outpost and not outside Septimus Cave. Because going back to the outpost apparently puts Skarn back in, in shape. He put his clothes back on. Um, really? Are you kidding me? It's never crashed when I just hit continue. Oh my god. Um. Okay, well, as I reset this again... Let me tell you about um, a game I recently played, finally, um, Bioshock Infinite. I kind of always wanted to play the game, but I didn't really enjoy the first Bioshock that much. But I finally picked it up in a sale for Steam, and I couldn't stop playing it. I, I had two sessions um, where I played it, I think, for like four to five hours each. It's been a long time since I have just sat to and played a game for that long. It just it drew me in a lot. And it wasn't really like the combat. It was it was the story of the game that I really liked. The combat was just kind of eh, it's kind of eh. But uh yeah. I would I would definitely recommend Bioshock Infinite especially if you can pick it up at a low price. Not that it's not worth $60, but if you can pick it up at a Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. Um, this has happened before, not um, the the crashing when I hit continue, but the game has gone through hiccups where it has crashed on me multiple times when I'm trying to record. And I typically just stop recording, I restart, and go from there. But I want you guys to see what I go through sometimes. Uh, but again, it doesn't happen on the continue 
from the main menu. It happens when I load the game in, I'll make a, a uh, quick travel or something, and then it crashes on me like three or four times in a row. It's extremely annoying. Let me try to load up this autosave. Okay, well apparently something is wrong with that autosave. Alright, well, sorry about that long time spent on a black screen and... Uh, remove it. What the hell? There we go. We're gonna go straight to Fort Dongar from here. Apparently my outpost is corrupted, or something. Wow. I don't know if we can go back home. Maybe this will be our new home. Alright, so we're finally back in the game. Again, apologies for the long stretch without a game. Alright, so I have to see Elder Scroll Guy. Where is Elder Scroll Guy? <laughs> right in my front of my face. Hey, buddy. I trust your journey was successful. What? What's up with your eyes? I've brought the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. What's happened? It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be able to allay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. That covering on your eyes, are you blind? Yes. Wow. I think so. Wow. Can anything be done? No. It will have to run its course. And there's always the chance I may never recover. Then we're finished. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? What do I need to do? I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your worries. Wait, you want me to read it? Is that what you want me to do? Is this where this is going? You want me to run around with a little covering over my eyes? Uh, <laughs> don't worry about that. Just tell Scattered me. Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. Explain this ritual. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. Carefully gather the bark. How? In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. Every moth priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. <laughs> and do I need to read the scrolls in any particular order? From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay. How's a moth related to the Elder Scrolls? Well, as I'm sure you've figured out by now, it's no mere coincidence that we're named Moth Priests. The voice of the Ancestor Moth has always been an integral part of reading the Elder Scrolls. That's very strange. Um, moths barely make a sound, let alone speak. Oh, the moths don't literally read the scrolls. But they maintain a connection to ancient magic that allows the moth priests to decipher them. If you listen closely when you find the glade, you should be able to hear their song, a soft, harmonious trilling. It's through this ancestral chorus that the moths tap into a form of primal augur and become a conduit for deciphering the scrolls. 
And how does that help the Moth Priest? By having the Ancestor Moths close to the Moth Priest, they can utilize the Conduit and share the Moth's augury. Only the most resilient of priests can do it this way. It takes years of practice to interpret the harmony. <laughs> and of course, since I'm the Dragonborn and the main character of the story, I'm going to be able to do it flawlessly, probably. Makes sense. That's how the hero does it in every story. Uh, then how do I even stand a chance? You've come this far, and you've found several Elder Scrolls. Whether you believe it or not, the Scrolls have a mind of their own. If they did not want you to find them, they would not allow it. Because of this, I strongly believe you were meant to hear the Ancestral Chorus. Only one way to find out. Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Um, is it normal for you to go blind? Sadly, yes. It is the inevitable fate we agree to pursue when reading the Elder Scrolls. It generally does not occur until a moth priest is in his latter years. But in my case, I simply was not preparing myself properly. What went wrong? Deciphering one of the Elder Scrolls is nothing like reading a simple book. There is quite a bit of ritual and concentration required. It can take months or even years to complete a single scroll, and even then, months to recover. Wow, and people willingly go into this profession? And what do the moth priests do exactly? It is our sacred duty to study the Elder Scrolls. We read these ancient scrolls of prophecy in order to divine the future and we use that knowledge to aid the Emperor. Sometimes, we venture out into the world in search of more scrolls for our library at the White Gold Tower. That is the very purpose that first brought me to Skyrim. The White Gold Tower? It is the great spire at the heart of the Imperial City, among the tallest towers in all of Tamriel. The lower floors are home to the Imperial Council, and the Order of Moth Priests occupies the middle floors. The tower suffered damage in the recent war with the Altmeri Dominion, and is not what it once was. I hope one day to see it restored to its former glory. You should hope one day that you can see, I think, before you can see it restored to its... <laughs> oh, that's cold. All right, we're going to leave. Good luck. I hope you find the answer. I'm sure I will, buddy. Haven't you heard? I'm the Legate. Or, I mean, I'm the Dragonborn. <laughs> it's my destiny to win over every single challenge. Okay, where are we going to go for this knife? Wait, what? Oh, current location, right? Um, where is the symbol? Ah! What the heck? Right in front of me, man. Oh my goodness. I'm looking all around here. I'm like, where the hell is the arrow? It's right there. Okay, well, let's go to Falkreath. Wait a minute, don't we have to find the knife first? He's saying the knife is actually in the Ancestor Glade? Because I thought that's where we had to perform the ritual. If those white run gods can take down the dragon, so can we. Maybe. Maybe you can. Heard about you and your honeyed words. Hmm? Okay. Alright, well, let's um, make our way to the place. Ooh, I am going the wrong way, aren't I? Hmm. Yeah, let's just go out this way. Is that a dragon? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't escape them. They're everywhere I go. Come on, dragon. We know this is going to end. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. This is why I don't do mounts. You know what, vampires? 
Oh my. Ugh, I didn't even select it. Not enough room. Not enough room. Shoot! One moment, vampires. As soon as I find enough room to summon this guy, <laughs> the fight will be over. Alright, never mind. Dernavir, you're just gonna have to wait. That is scary. I need to get to that caster. Die, damn vampire! Why are all of you with that damn fire? Where the. I know what my problem is. That default field of vision is just so restricting. It's like, how do you see anything? Have I been there? To whatever that is? You know what? I don't know if I have ever been over there. I don't remember that place at all. <laughs> Falkreath area isn't exactly some uh, place that I've really explored that much in any of the games I've played. Have I? I don't recognize that place at all. I wonder what's in there. Hmm. Maybe we'll go there after we find this knife. Do this ritual. Am I going the right way? No, I need to go further and take the road up. Okay. This is what it looks like. So, right here? No, I feel like it's supposed to be further down. It is further down. Jeez. I see light up ahead. And I see bad guys. All right, people. Ooh, actually. Aha! Have fun, Dernavir. Bandit highwaymen, huh? That guy is like, there you go. I was like, dude, he oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That was rude. Oh. You punks. How do I get up there? Over here? Alright. I think it's so funny rolling boulders down on me, huh? Huh? Didn't know I had a dragon at my call, did you? Alright. Wait, there are more enemies? Turn up your land way up there. Yep, he's finding somebody. I'm coming. And a marauder. God's help us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. We are in need of some hit points here. Well, we're getting our block skill increase here. Where are my my allies? Oh, 
don't know why they can't get up here. Tough bandits here. I know I have a bunch of allies somewhere. Here we go. All right, one bandit down. All right, well, I got an undead guy here. There we go. Seriously, where the hell are my allies at? Dernavir wasn't here, that would have probably been really bad. Hey, buddy. Whew. Alright, you know what? We should probably save it. But yeah, I got my blocks clip up to uh, 60. I can finally level it up again. Whew. Enjoy the free air, buddy. Kind of surprises me how long he lasts. I hope my allies aren't dead or something. Whoa, that's a tree. Man, this place is really up here, isn't it? Oh my god. Hey, Serana, you made it. There you guys are. Late as usual. I'm not sure if I've ever, ever um, been up here. I probably have at some point. Okay, finally made it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Skarn was out of his clothes again. You gonna find like any wolves or bears up here? Very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back. This must be the place. Okay, not impressive. If this isn't it, we're gonna have words. Ah, huh, this must be a place. <laughs> All right. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is much more impressive. Wait a minute. I have been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. It's beautiful. I have been here made an or addition to our company. Although Honorable Nine doesn't quite have the same ring to it. If only we were nefarious. Honorable Nine, I wonder if that's supposed to be a reference to the Lord of the Rings. Um yeah, I swear I've been to a place just like this. I have been here. Did I was I on here in this campaign though? I, I'm not sure. I, I have been here before. I want to say it was in an early episode of this series. And I remember we went up there, went went around, found nothing. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. You mean this thing right there? I wonder if I'm just getting playthroughs mixed together from like something that I didn't record in this one. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Hope the mob like that bark as much as Dex 
Cassian said they would. Attract ancestors. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. Am I? Maybe I was this far when I played Dawnguard before, because I remember this place. But I don't remember getting... Hmm. I've not been here before. Alright, so I guess I just have to try to track down more moths. There we go. I'm still not seeing the shimmering that she just talked about. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think that might have been what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. Enter the column of light and. What's the plan? The plan is for me to read this Elder Scroll and not go blind. Oh, do I have to, like, activate the Elder Scroll or something? Ah! Which one do you have to do? Have to do? Is it the sun? Oh! Maybe that wasn't the one I... Which one do I have to do? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry guys, wrong, uh, wrong scroll. When you have so many on you, you know, you just make mistakes. Is this the path to the bow? Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Huh. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm I'm fine. I trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dexian. Hmm. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? it I, yeah, apparently I do. It's in a place called Darkfall Cave. And it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? The scroll gave me its exact location. Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Unseen visions. Um, what do you know about Ariel's bow? Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. And what does this have to do with the sun? Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection uh -oh. from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Um, Ingrid, Ingrid, you're. We got we got to have this conversation later, Serana. We are apparently being assaulted by vampires. 
I love a challenge. You ready to cry? God, my camera's all over the place. Oh my god! Get back up! Wouldn't even let me have a conversation with Serana. Stop running around. Ah! Alright. Is that it? Whew. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. We are going to find the Oriole's bow, I guess, in the next episode. So hopefully that will be interesting. Um, <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care.